I dated this guy. He broke up with me out of nowhere. You were completely in love at this point. Yeah, I had a promise ring and everything. He said he wanted to do him for a little while. And yeah. how, how long did he do him for? Two months. And then he got married. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> married. That's enough time. What's up, guys? And welcome to episode 72 of Dropouts. Uh, this week, we have siblings on the podcast. Ooh. 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 <laughs> And I've heard through the grapevine that you guys both have individual names. If you don't mind saying them, that'd be great. Um, sister, you want to go first? Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Oh, how, how chivalrous. Nice of you. My name is Jenna. Allegedly. Allegedly. Apparently, I have a new name now. It's Jennifer. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I could have sworn Zach. that was the full name. I All think right. it's a little disrespectful that your parents got to name you. Like, I didn't even get a say in it, which is... <laughs> um, and then we have Seth, great name. Don't Seth want to change Rick. anything about Seth, it. Rick. Seth, Seth Rick, apparently on this show. Do I look at this camera? Yeah, you can look wherever you please. Right okay. Oh. Oh. They're just, they're um, everywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you haven't heard, my name is uh, Seth Rick. I am a single, ready to mingle. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. 19. He had to throw that one in What's there. What's up with the handcuffs? And the handcuffs? Well, Zach, that's a very interesting Because I noticed they're fuzzy around it. Have yeah, you- and very comfortable. I feel like the police should like implement these. <laughs> Why do you have handcuffs? Well, on? Zach put them on me earlier, and well, I well, first off, the whoa, key. okay, that was supposed to be a secret. Um, <laughs> camera was cameras were also rolling, but it was for my personal collection. You know that. <laughs> yeah, that I'm sorry. Okay, so you guys, um, wait, I gotta roll the intro. Yeah, right, Jared. He does this every week. <laughs> It's so awkward with no, like, if Without you don't have headphones, headphones in. What's up, guys? What? Guys? I don't know why I said that. Hey, ignore it. What's up, B-Words? Welcome back to Dropouts. Today, we have Seth and Jenna on the podcast, episode 72. Can I talk about something real quick? Go for it. So you guys recently <clears throat> took the Hogwarts sorting exam, and <laughs> I hear we have two dolphin Patronuses in the house. Yes, yes sir. Yes, hey, we, we are dolphins for life. Do you want to know what I got? What? what? A rat. <laughs> <laughs> like visually? No. Suits you. <laughs> oh, Seth, I got I'm a rat. Go I'm a Slytherin. You could, you just back up just a little bit. I'm a Slytherin. Shocker. Yeah, shocker. Wow. Shocker, I'm a Slytherin. Couldn't, and couldn't then my, have ever seen that coming. My Patronus is a rat. <laughs> I heard you were a what? A Hufflepuff? Oh, we've done known that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Hufflepuff. Are these, the, are these the new Zodiac signs? Right. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So. But way cooler. That's, that's cool. Okay. They're, they're cooler. Um, so we have two people on the podcast that um, you guys shared the same uterus, not at the same time. Um, you paid rent at different <laughs> um, different years. Um, but you guys started TikTok together. You guys want to explain mm-hmm. what went from two Tennessee um, kids to super famous better than everyone else right? yeah exactly uh <laughs> let me let me start you off on that and jenna uh start go oh okay <laughs> apparently i'm starting um well it started with chick-fil-a oh um, seth used to work there back in his um i ran that store uh, high school days <laughs> it was his pleasure it was always my pleasure <laughs> I literally just took the random snapshot of him running to my car and it blew up overnight. Have you been served yet, ma'am? No. <laughs> Can I get you anything? And we have posted a video probably every day since then. So you threw that on Tic Tac and then what was it? How many views did that accumulate? I think 15 million. Oh, Whoa. 15, shut 16 up. 16 million. Really? So it's not a bad start. No, yeah. not at all. First video we ever posted. What was your initial thought of like... Oh, this is a really interesting story. So, <laughs> like, at Chick-fil-A, obviously, God's work, you're not allowed to be on your phone because God forbid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I, I didn't even know she put it on TikTok. I thought it was like on her snap, <laughs> Snapchat because that's what you, she usually does. So, I got home after this like seven-hour dishes shift. That was just absolutely terrible. That like must have been hell. were waterlogged. I was wet. Everybody was wet. Um, <laughs> it sounds like Jared walking through it. Never mind. Um, walking anyways. through the dairy aisle. <laughs> walk, uh, no, walk, walking through Sephora. Everyone else. <laughs> Everyone else. All right. And um, I don't know. Like, everybody was texting me. He's like, Seth, you're on TikTok. Like, <laughs> like before, I would not download TikTok because I yeah. always seen like all the cringe memes about it. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And then like I saw it and like it had a million views when I looked at it. And I, I was completely naked at that time because I had taken <laughs> off all my work clothes. Of course. <laughs> and so I was running around my living room screaming that I was famous. <laughs> and then so ding dong, ding dong. flapping for <laughs> helicopter. Yeah. So did you, had you moved in with Jenna at this point? Uh, no, no, we lived w- with our parents. Oh, you both still live with your parents. I was yeah. in the basement. Okay. Okay. How long ago was this? 
uh, it's coming up on two years. Okay. Dude, TikTok is like the only platform where you could post your first vi video and get 15 million That's views. That's just amazing. Yeah. At, at what point were you, True. so you guys started posting every day, like kind of, when, what did your next video do? Uh, we went to like the grocery store. So, oh, we went to Walmart. No, no, we, I think our second video was, was like, we were, no, it was, no. <laughs> It no, Walmart. no. We'll have to show these no. during. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have to go back into the past, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure we were scrolling. at my school and I did a backflip and I like landed on my neck. And that <laughs> got like 700,000. And then. That would make sense. So you're putting your body on the line for this content. I've yeah. I put like, everything on the line. And Jenna, have you ever done a backflip for the content? No. See, I can do a backflip, though. That's the oh, thing. Oh, okay. Let's, can let's see you. it. Let's see it. Uh, Bust it out right now. Let's see a backflip, yeah. Jenna. Can you really? Do a backflip. Do it right now. I might. What if I hit that? <laughs> How it, high are you jumping, Jared? We don't know. Your feet hit that. I would be genuinely surprised. Maybe do it like either on. Jared, the we side do not have an HR it. department. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a backflip. <laughs> well, we don't in have. So long. Wait, are you gonna do a backflip right now? You talk. Is that you just tell me to? You talk to yourself. Yeah, Can I do wait. like a back handspring? Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Completely sure, 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 sure. I'm honestly oh. terrified. Wait, I feel. <laughs> Am I really wait, going right now? I feel I like. I'm <laughs> how comfortable are you with Just it? Just do it. You know what they say: no pain, no gain. Zach, we don't have business insurance, and I feel really well, we bad have, that we're making her. Who needs insurance these days? It's overrated. <laughs> well, she's uh -oh. preparing. I'm so ready for her to land on her neck. Oh, this is make we, we're filming this, right? Is she locked on. Oh, God, oh, I yeah. hope she's okay. Oh, dude, Please. this could be on TikTok. I want, the, I want the, I want the video to this after she. Uh, Maybe I should film it like this in case <laughs> it is. Oh, we're posting it if you fall on your. Oh, ass. oh, can I? Where's my phone? It, we'll send here. it to you. Yeah, okay, Zach's recording you. right now. All right, Jen. Okay, so Jenna just said I'm about to get up and do a, a back backflip. handspring to make you guys feel less about yourselves or something. Should we do a countdown? Give her, give her a countdown. Oh! Whoa! 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 Okay. That's pretty impressive. Wow! What the hell? All right, now where's the backflip? <laughs> I wish I could do that. That just seems so cool to be able to be like, yeah, I can flip. Yeah, I can flip. Wait, right. so I'll catch you on the flip. And you flip out of the <laughs> when you woke up this morning, That's were pathetic. you like, I'm gonna flip inside um, Jared's living room? <laughs> Did not. Yeah. Was not ready for that. Okay. Wait, how do I don't you... think I've done a back handspring in probably two years. Why? Yeah. That's wow. That's even and more that's impressive. pure pressure. <laughs> that was that's pure pressure, pressure right there. Was that social anxiety? <laughs> just like we're gonna have to I'm do this. I'm a little this. bit shaken. I'm like, wow. I really hope I don't bust this right <laughs> here. <laughs> Your adrenaline <laughs> is just pulsing right, right. now. Me meanwhile, Seth, how bad did you want her to hurt herself in that moment? Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred oh percent. And that's no. That's and that brotherly love. All right. Let's see you do a backflip. I would love to see you bust it. I a backflip. Yeah. Ooh. Or a back handspring, whatever she right. I can't back handspring. I usually do a backflip and then I put my hands down. Then do and it. And it looks like a back handspring. Then do it, Seth. Then yeah. do it. Well, I'm kind of contained he right now. <laughs> All right, that's he your excuse. I need, I need like four. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. So when did you guys realize that TikTok was a career path that you could possibly pursue? We didn't for a while. We just made like goofy videos and was going with it. I think when we got around like 2 million followers is when we like kind of started taking it more serious. That's a good number. <laughs> <Yeah>. Couple mil. <laughs> couple mil. <laughs> and then what, couple do you remember your first like company that reached out and like, we'll give you money or product. Were you guys freaking out about that? I actually reached out to the first company. Was, no, um, um, Ubo. Remember we partnered with Ubo? It was before. Was it before? Yeah. We, we partnered with Bang Energy. Oh. oh. I emailed so you're locked in, you're locked in for life now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're... You guys still in the Bang deal? Yeah, mm -hmm. We signed a 20-year contract. <laughs> no, we how, long, how long is your deal? Uh, just a year, but oh. we re-signed back in May. So I'm upset that there years. is no Bang in the studio right now. We have a Bang at the hotel right now. Oh, well, we actually do. First of all, what did your family think of all the viralicity? And then what did they think once you started making money from it? My dad tells us probably every day to get a real job. So. <laughs> he, he oh, I heard that. that. I he, heard he that. He doesn't believe that it's real. No, yeah, not no, at all. TikTok, TikTok is not a real job to him. No, not at all. I Which heard that I until like then you show them your pay stubs and you're like, oh, it's not a real job. Right. Really? Which I don't get that because oh. dad was in the entertainment industry. So I'm like, I don't understand. He was like, a skater, right? He was a skater. Mm. So I'm he was like, a skater oh, boy. That's where you get that from. Yeah. Seth? He was. Yeah. He lived in California and. Skated his probably his whole teenage life yeah. until he, and then you got into knees. it, right? Huh? Well, I was kind of forced into it at first. Mm -hmm. He would always like take me on ramps and shove me down them, and like <laughs> nice. I eventually just got good at it. Yeah, we grew up skating. 
Yeah, you but came, I did not you came stick with Seth, it. you came out the womb and he handed you a tech deck. I, I came out, I came out the Absolutely. womb and I tray bombed uh, like a <laughs> six what, what is your best uh, skate trick? Um, Probably an ollie. Nice. <laughs> nice. Really the hard easiest skating trick. I'd like to see you do an ollie. The, um, world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys started making a little money and then your mom is fine with it? Yeah, my mom is cool with it. She She's she like, do cool. your thing, I guess. <laughs> We love our mom. Yeah. <laughs> She's the best. Wow. So clearly there's favorites in the household. I am definitely the favorite. Don't Ooh, have how do you know that? Seth there's had, no way that that, a lot of cat that guy room. there is the favorite. Absolutely. Right. My he, mom loves me, first of all. Does she call you her dad? Hey, I'm sure much. both of your parents love you, Another but they dad. might like one of you more. And it's my, me. <laughs> right now, my dad is very disappointed in me. And why, why is that? that? So there might have There's been a, a leaked list. photo <laughs> of me in a maid costume. Is it a leaked photo or is it a photo you posed in? No, it's a I video that's plastered on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> that you posted? Oh, that she posted. Absolutely. Had to share that with it, the world. I, it does not have my consent. I'm canceling us. <laughs> oh you have to God. cancel we yourself. Over. <laughs> we, you're done. You're, you're done. done. Did, did the you're videos done. of him like coming in the room with the chair, um, did that start coming naturally? Or, yeah, what is the deal with the chair? Yeah, so we had taken a video. Um, and back at our old house when we lived with our parents, they Seth would always come in the room. And one of these days, he was just like, what if I had a chair a for chair. my room? And he was like my describing, butt. he's like a skateboard chair saying all this. So I went around looking for a chair, trying to find a skateboard chair, which is absolutely impossible. I don't think those exist. <laughs> no. And I came across this clear chair at Hobby Lobby for um, like 85 bucks. And I said, oh, we're going with this. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it has stuck around. So all the stickers on it, what are they? Those are um, when we go live on TikTok, people that send gifts will put their name on the chair. Wow. Oh, we wow. haven't done that in forever because I think TikTok – live changed how it works so we can't even click on their profile anymore so your your dad is indifferent your mom loves it um what do your fan uh friends think did you guys go from how what was your social status in high school were you in between were you a loser were you cool prom king queen well um i was cool and i made seth cool so. nice <laughs> no seth you're welcome no, by the way first of all let me tell the story of jenna pry in my high school okay so I was when we first came to Central, Jenna was the popular girl. They're like, Oh, so you're Jenna Pry's brother. Wow. But then that's after, after she left high Made school, cool. dead weight. Dead oh, okay. weight. Nobody <laughs> talks about her. Um, I mean, yeah, and then and then I took over high school. Everybody people still talk about me there, not to brag or anything. Yeah, yeah not to brag, but it's well, just I feel I was, like you just left, so huh? it's not that far out of their memory, is it? Because you're how old are you? He's uh, 19. 23. <laughs> Just, 19. Yeah. I was supposed to say it was only a couple of years for Yeah. Me. But uh, what's my call? But we were. Interesting thing that like she was also prom queen. Were you? Year. Were you? I nice. was. And, I was prom and he was prom king two years after year. me. Were you really? <laughs> yeah. That's wow. pretty cool. Wow. It runs in the family. And now, it's now, it us. now it comes down to who got more votes. Coming from. I did. We have no <laughs> idea. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. So in my <laughs> high school, nobody was doing any like propaganda or anything, like trying to put out their name. Yeah, you weren't allowed to advertise like, or like, you what? know, how people put around posters and be like, vote for me. That's the whole Our fun high of school it. Yeah. would not allow that. But uh, I did so my own thing. how did people thing. know who was? I guess they just voted. <laughs> they just, well, I'm like who they knew more. I went yeah. around with a sign on my chair. This was pre-COVID. <laughs> yeah. Pre-COVID. So I went around with a like, a, a tape like, what do they call it? Paper? Yeah. It says one hug <laughs> equals paper? one vote. And I hugged like 300 people that day. Damn. And so, then, I'm, thank you for clarifying the pre-COVID, you know. Pre-COVID, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have you hugged anyone since that incident? In a very long time. Hey, Not a very long Seth, time. You want to hug? Huh? You hug? I would love a hug. Well, <laughs> I don't know if we can. <laughs> oh, he's saying <laughs> yeah. Aww. The first hug. Since. Oh, wow. And... <laughs> This is a beautiful Indy, moment. do not touch him there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Gosh, Indy. You Coming know, Indy. from we somebody were... that had a cool sibling in their school. So my brother and I always went to the same schools. Um, coming from somebody that was like, he was the 100% like the popular, cool Australian kid, especially in like the US. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to live up to that, by the way. So effing hard. He left, he was only there a year and I was there four? 
Eight, nine, three, sorry. I was there like three or four years. He was only there for maybe not even a full year. To this day, I called my school the other day to get my transcripts for something I needed it for. And I've been out of school for two years. So this is, you know, going on six years since he's been at that school. First question, how's your brother? Oh my Everyone God. asks about, Asked me about him. I did not, not a single day in that school did I get a, did I not get the question, how's your brother? Where's your brother? Brother, brother, brother. And I was like, I get it. He's the cool one. Shut up. <laughs> oh my God. At, every school I've been to, too, my brother's just like so charismatic. And so, like, he can be an absolute raging dick to me, but he is so charismatic <laughs> and else. so, like, everyone loves him because he's like, oh my God, he's so fun. And he's like, got a cool accent. And I'm like, ugh. Anyway. Cool I had to be born in America. Well, I, did, I actually wasn't born in America. Where were you born? Uh, Rothenburg, Germany. We, yeah, Whoa. you guys were both born in Germany, were you? Uh, I was no. not. Oh, you. Why were you born, born in Germany? In Georgia. Um, so my parents, not really. uh, my dad got deployed overseas because he was in the military. He's in the military? And they got a little busy and a little frisky. And, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. So, um, is it, I was it, out. Was it sexual intercourse, I assume, that created you? I think so, but I never know. So what does that mean? Neither were you I. born on a U.S. Yeah. military base? <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, so you you can still be president. He's still, I can. I you have dual citizen. citizenship. I do have dual citizenship. That's I actually really. Got, I got a mail. I got uh, a letter in the mail not too long ago, and I had to check if I wanted to be. So when you turn eighteen, you have a choice. If you can either be a U.S. citizen or I fly back to Germany for free, they'll pay for my flight out there and become a uh, German citizen. Why didn't you do that? Which one you choose? I can't speak German. And also, I've never I that, been. <laughs> I also think over yeah. there that like you have to, oh, I don't know if it's in Germany, but I know that there's a couple countries where you have to serve mandatory military duty or you could be called into draft in the in Germany. Oh. Whoa, that hmm. would be weird. Like if you were called in. Seth if, in the army? Say if, like you were called into draft, like I think they <laughs> could luck. call your name. What side do you think oh, you would have been on in World War II? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what oh happened. God. We were I just saw, watching. Because I, I would be on so American was, side. <laughs> okay, so that's where we're going. Um, hmm. I'm on the Allies. You, better not. Yeah. you sound a little Axis I think, to I, me. I think, I think Germany got pooped on by World War II, so I'd definitely go with America. <laughs> we're, they're just still getting roasted for that. They're like, oh, no. they're like, guys, it's been 70 years. <laughs> well, hey, um, they're still paying the Axis powers, too, for all the- We were just watching um, the- I don't know if anyone in this room has seen Band of Brothers. We were just watching Band of Brothers, and Americans like- um, uh, like people that lived in the U.S. and like had German blood were called back to their home country and U.S. citizens, U.S. citizens, but people that were born and raised in the U.S. because they had German blood were called back to Germany and had to serve as like the yeah, like had to serve against the U.S. Well, I don't Isn't know if it's the ones that were born. Yeah, I was like, well, if, they're, they're, if they're, they're born here, they're well, U.S. Either, so either like so they must have been like your situation. They must have been like born in Germany and then like raised in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and like yeah. they had to go back over there and like fight against. And he was like. I'm from Michigan, man. I moved there when I was like one, and so I was like, Michigan. <laughs> well, I um, didn't know that. Back to uh, something like that. Back to the clock app. So you guys, <laughs> the clock. <laughs> uh, I don't you, know why they never used a clock as their thing and why it's a music symbol. Like it's not a music app. Oh, well, was was wasn't it a musically it well before? Music, yeah. I guess it was. Yeah. I guess musically it was, music. was. Yeah, before. What's the coolest thing you guys have done with um, like what what's something that you guys have done? Like, wow, how is this our life now? Hmm. We moved out. Nice, <laughs> nice. We got our own place. I, I got I kicked out know. of house 17. I bought my plate. You, uh, you, you got kicked out? Kicked out? Yeah, well, it was either live with our family in a tiny RV with like yeah, there were six th or five people. And I was they not were traveling it. the US for a minute. So they sold their house and then lived in an RV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whoa. just traveled around. How many people were in that house? Oh, you, oh, it, was you t it would have been your mom and your dad and your two younger siblings, right? My little sister. Oh, my one. older brother is gone. Oh, well, he yeah, eventually moved us. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Seth, you wanted to bring up a little bit about um, Jenna's love life. Oh my oh. god, this is hilarious! <laughs> Not my love so, life. Where do, <laughs> it's where do a we crisis. Start? Uh, <laughs> Let's what? start at the beginning. From the beginning. I, I, yeah, I'd like to keep a nice timeline of all the boys and of all the boys she's loved before. Oh man, nice. we gotta go back to elementary school. <laughs> okay, oh let's do god. it. Okay, okay. You don't even let's know talk about I first crush. Know. Maybe just the problematic ones. Oh, Problematic okay. one. Oh, that's so all of them? <laughs> that is a lot. So, all of them. so every um, single one. You got to talk about um, uh, the one that starts with a B. I so don't want to release some names. There's, there's a lot of those. There's one. Well, I say <laughs> I say we talk about the one that starts with a J. J? Oh, Jared. All right. So <laughs> what? 
This one's about you. <laughs> ah, shit. I, and the I, whole, was, I was a piece of shit. I'll oh, admit. The whole apartment The sitch. whole apartment the whole, That All was right. a really interesting story. Yeah, it Let's was a good time. It. So she's got the better details. Out, she told oh, wait, no, no. In. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The one before that was the marriage one, right? Yeah. Wait, oh, no, I want to hear that one. So yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that one. Sorry. So I, I dated this guy. Um, and I don't want to release <laughs> we'll, this. We'll bleep it out. Here's a, here's a picture. Oh, okay. He's actually here right now. We can talk about it. Yeah, there he is. Okay. We should come up with like... <laughs> Bleep that out. Don't let anybody hear oh, okay. that. Okay. <laughs> we'll call him Barry. 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 Yeah. Barry. 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 Barry B. Benson. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we, I don't even, I can't even remember how we met, but we dated for two years. And um, he, I started dating him at 19, 12? 18 or 19, around there. Somewhere. Okay. So you guys were together until you're like 21, 22. Yeah. Well, no, till I was like 20. So yeah, oh. probably 18 because I wasn't 21 with him. But um, he broke up with me out of nowhere. Like I got- like nothing was wrong with you guys? No was arguments? Wrong. He took me out to ice cream the day of. Okay. And then he broke up with me over a FaceTime call. a cold call. move. Oh. Yeah. And he, he <laughs> like, he took me out for ice cream. Went, it was the 4th of July weekend, I remember. And he Great went out with it. his, <laughs> he went out with high. his friends. All right, he went out with his friends somewhere. They went somewhere, and yeah, he called me at a party and broke up with me. Oh, he it was he did the cell phone. What? Trip. Yeah. He just called you and said this isn't working. He's Absolutely, still, you're done. Well, out yeah, of well, nowhere. What was the exact call? Was it, "Hey Jenna, I need to talk to you," or is like, hey, "Yeah, Jenna, um, <laughs> you're, not, you're not the one." Or what was? <laughs> no, he was actually he was sober. I'll give him that. Beautiful. He, he wasn't drinking. Which is even worse. And yeah. anyway, right. Even but he worse. was sober and he called you. Right. How far away was he from you at this point? Like in probably a good like four hours away. Okay. Still, so. still a drive you might want to make if you're going to break up. Right. Or we had ice cream. You, you did just, have ice cream. You could have done it. Broke then. up with me at ice cream. Yeah. At least you <laughs> would have had a do you sweet think, drink. Do you, think, after. do you think you figured it out after the ice cream? What did you do with the ice cream parlor? Wait. What? Fla Nothing. Everything what was flavor, just fine. What flavor did you order that might have something to do with it? Not his flavor. Vanilla. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Done. Oh, Out so of he here. Calls you, so I would have done the same girl. thing. So yeah. he's at the party and he calls you. What yeah. does he say? Yeah. He's just. No, not vanilla. Broken he up. basically just said that he wasn't working and he wanted to do him for a while and figure out himself. <laughs> and, oh, of and course. You, and this is, this is where it gets interesting. But you, you were completely in love at this point. You thought this might be the one you marry? Yeah. I had a promise ring and everything. Like yeah. we were like <laughs> planned on getting married. One of you was, yeah. and then um, <laughs> a lot of us was. Okay, and then um, he said he wanted to do him for a little while. And yeah. how how long did he do him for? Um, two months. Okay, and then he got married. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> got married. That's married. enough time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To find someone so new. So one hundred percent. Two years and two months. That's so yeah, he had one hundred percent been doing the, the, the cheating. Yeah, is I, there? I have never figured that out. And but like, I don't think I want yeah. to. Did you but, call him out on it? Uh, no, I just blocked him on everything. You found out through your, his family yeah. Facebook. Yeah, right? I am like really, really close with his family, and I saw wedding pictures on his mom's Facebook. That's wild. And yeah, it was like a. So they still married, or how'd that go? No, they are divorced now, and he actually hit Ooh, me back how up. How long nice, did, how and you're long together. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he um, hit me back up and then apologized for everything. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Sick. He was uh, like, well, do you forgive anything. me? And you're like, nah, right? fuck off. You got married. <laughs> Wait, how long were they married for? Um, uh, I think like six months. Oh. So not even, <laughs> not he even was married year. and divorced in less time than you guys were together. So yeah. you won that battle. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's kind of impressive <laughs> on his end. <laughs> okay. It's pretty impressive. So, so that was a dark time in your life. And I'm sure you cried a lot about it. Um, but let's talk about something even harder. Let's talk about your eighth grade relationship, Seth, because I know oh. that was a little oh. hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was what, your one and only girlfriend, right? Um, yes, that I know of. Okay. That I you know <laughs> of. Um, it's kind of my or origin story. Okay, I thought uh, you were going to say like, orgy story. And I, was like, I thought he was about <laughs> no, to say that. No, no. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this, I was like, I was like nope, this is a... <laughs> hey, you're done. You're done. <laughs> nope. And there's the door. Um, <laughs> the door. Um, so uh, where do I start? How do I start? I um, you start with the first time you saw her and why you fell in love. First time I saw her. Oh, this is easy. Um, <laughs> math the class, only girl. <laughs> seventh period. Oh, the best um, period. It's towards said, the end of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went through like all day. Oh, actually, here. 
Let me start this. It would happen when I first met her is when I first moved to our middle school. Okay. So I went from like a city boy out to this really country school. I didn't know what was happening. There was a lot going on that I did not recognize. And um, she was pretty mean to me at, when I first met her. But I think that's how girls hit on guys. Oh, yeah, especially in how, middle school days. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's I how you're probably. raised, you know? She, she, like, pulled my hair and put chocolate oh, yeah. milk and all that. Oh, yeah. Dude, she, she was, was in down in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> You said chocolate milk? Yeah, in my hair and all oh, that. Oh, she, she wasted the <laughs> chocolate milk on you. Oh, God, God. She milk. thought you were the one. She I did. <laughs> well, at, well, everybody at my lunch table called her the devil, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's my nickname around here. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Um, and so some time goes on by. I get to know her more. Um, starts with an M. Should we give her a random name, or should I? Madison. Are we Mandy. It? Man, oh, well, her name was Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maddie. Madison, Maddie, whatever you want to call her. There's no bad blood between you guys, right? Oh, no. So, yeah. No, I, I think we only have to all bleep right. it if potentially there's a lawsuit with you. Um, <laughs> um, I remember, oh, gosh. This is a really long time ago, and it's really hard to remember. I don't even remember her face. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck you, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, if you're watching this, I am not sorry. I'm not sorry whatsoever. You don't still miss her? Huh? Why? Okay. So no, you- she. All right. So. Oh, here we go. We dated for some time. Oh. About a month. We were a month deep. And that's a lot. In that's about grade. a year in the eighth grade. In so. eighth grade, that was a lot for me. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot for me. I was always that weird kid that nobody wanted to touch with a 10 foot pole. You still are. Huh? Well, um, I'll touch you with a three inch one. You look like the type of guy that would get the <laughs> cheese touch. Huh? <laughs> I have another interesting story about that. Oh um, my but gosh. After, so me and Maddie, we went to the eighth grade, uh, what are they called? Snowball dance. Like oh, that. Classic. Like your winter and dance? Yeah, like the winter dance. And I took, I like, I picked her up. We were in my mom's minivan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so you mean you slid the door open for her? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. literally <laughs> slid the door open. I was like, you can come in. Um, <laughs> and then we arrived up at the school. We walked in. We like got our wristbands to go in. We started dancing for a little bit. And then... I guess my weird side came out or something. Classic. And I thought I was having fun, but yeah. I guess she wasn't. And she dumped me after no. that dance. How'd she do it? Um, she said, I'm exactly what Ben said, that she was going to start focusing on herself. <laughs> in, in, the eighth the, in, the in the eighth grade. She's grade. like, I've got time tables I just got to learn. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, that's um, the worst excuse I know. to give somebody. I'm going to focus on myself. But <laughs> that's my, just means, my Actually, I take that back because I think I've done that before. <laughs> no, and that that just means I really am just wanting to be I with don't, other people. Th- it's the, I don't want to hurt your feelings type of excuse. I would <laughs> much rather, I got, actually, the best way I've been broken up, this is going to sound really harsh, but he literally was just straight up with me and he said, you used to be so fucking cool and now you're not. And See, I was like, I would rather really, look, someone. Did that hurt like an absolute bitch 100%? But then I never ever had to think about whether yes. or not he wanted to be or whether or not like he still loved me. And I did it because clearly he didn't. Clearly he didn't want to be with me. And it was like a cold turkey. Bye. He never contacted right. me again after that breakup. I never heard from him. I've never, I've never spoken to him since that breakup. And honestly, thank you. That's the best it was kind of closure. Because so, I like, need that. 100% closure. Never spoke to him again. There was no back and forth weird like, oh, what's happening? So like, we, he's done. It's like we, just ripping off the bandage. We, right. bo- we boys need to practice our breakups a little bit better. So yeah. why don't we do a little role play? Okay, you pretend uh, Ooh, Jared. I like role play. You pretend Jared is Maddie, and you guys have been dating all the way up till now, and you need to break up with her. How are you going to tell her? Well, he's breaking up with me. Remember all the research you just got from all, these ladies. Okay, all the research. Hey, I hey. hate you. Oh. We are done. Uh, You're done. <laughs> You're done. Okay. Oh. Um, like I thought. Like I just that. don't like that you didn't blink. But I, I thought we had a great time at <laughs> okay. Snowball. He's trying to lot. get you back. He's trying to get you back. She's trying to get me. We back. had such a great time. Don't I, you remember? You used to be so cool, but like now you're not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that doesn't feel good to hear. <laughs> Dude, does that not like kind of sting to hear? <laughs> After all hurts. we've been through. Like I was. <laughs> that was my eighth grade relationship, actually. Or I was like eighth or, eighth or ninth grade. That was my eighth or ninth grade relationship. But we were together Aww. for a year and a half. With Matt. No. What? <laughs> You also mm-hmm. dated Maddie? You also dated Maddie? <laughs> um, Maddie B raps? No, but like, reference. I was like 14. Holy shit. <laughs> you just that absolutely. Just oh, see, Memories. you think of Maddie B raps, and I thought of Maddie smokes. Oh, uh, Maddie fucking uh, smokes. <laughs> Today we're going to hotbox a fucking car with these jewel paws. I made a, I made a flamethrower with up. my eighth grade girlfriend. That was who I made that with. You and made then, a flamethrower? Did you kiss her? Oh, yeah. yes, he no, did. Oh, actually, I didn't kiss he her. He made a, a legitimate flamethrower. 
I got suspended for it. I got sent to a special school. It was a whole thing. With all the bad kids? Wow. And what was, what yeah, was your nickname? Who so are dope. you, Jared? Well, so I got, so there, but the principal was like, we don't do at home suspension. So you got to go to this like secondary school. Like and where then, the bad kids go. Yeah, I, I oh. get there and everybody's like in there for fighting. So they're like, they're like, what'd you get in here for? I was like, I made a flamethrower. They were like, yo, that's sick. From now on, so there's two of us in there. He points at me and he goes, from now on, you flame and you thrower. <laughs> <laughs> did. So, hey, have I, you ever I felt cooler you were the coolest one in your in life the, than that no, moment? Right. I peaked at that moment. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you've ever felt cooler. Ever. Uh -uh. That was like imagine the like the badass kids that get in trouble for like fighting and just fucking with people in yeah, school. Yeah, that's and what then everyone go, was there for. Damn, you flame and you throw, and immediately <laughs> you're like, I've peaked, and this is his, I, his the highlight ego of your shot life. Up by about ten thousand that day. Just <laughs> So, so are you are you back on the market, Seth? I mean, I know that eighth grade thing is still weighing heavy on um, your heart. I'm I'm on Tinder and a few other. Uh, <laughs> uh, are social. you on Bumble? You look like the type of guy to be I on Bumble. Bumble. Grinder potentially? I'm not sure. I th I think I made a Grinder account. <laughs> That's not going to help your case with your dad. But, um, I'm terrified of dating apps. What you've never well, you've never attended the. I the tried apps? a dating app and then it got very overwhelming, so I deleted it. <laughs> I am. Um, our our friend is on. What's that one app? Oh, I can't remember, but it's the like one with specifically the for people to have like threesomes or so something. So if you're like looking, that. whoa! Yes. Um, so you need to find a partner. Oh, uh, or I you can sign up single and then you get paired with partners. Oh, what's that one that's just for social media people and like famous celebrities? Oh, Raya, Raya, Raya. You have to be like accepted. Oh, you can yeah. get on Raya. I got accepted into Raya. Did you? When I was like sixteen or seventeen. There's no like, way that that's, that's pretty pretty problematic. Oh, it's very oh. problematic. I was about to yeah, say, I don't think that's legal. I'm afraid I'm gonna get kidnapped on a social dating. Well, app. kidnapping's half the fun because it's like all the rush, you know. I know. As long as they got a good trunk, <laughs> huh. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Seth has definitely seen plenty of trunks in his lifetime. <laughs> I think uh, every time we come out to LA, he's riding in a trunk. He was in a trunk, trunk last yeah, night. Yeah. What the hell was that about? <laughs> What do you mean? You wrote in the trunk? There was yeah. no room. There's no room. <laughs> There's no room. And you would think like- What if you got rear-ended? You would have died. I would have took it like a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, he did open the trunk at dude, a red light yeah. and right. <laughs> no, so so they Poor were Riley. they were talking some about like, uh, what if the power goes out or something? And I was like, yeah, well, I, I pulled a- <laughs> I pulled a little switch. And I was like, well, that's okay. Cause I got a little switch and I opened it. At a red We're light. at a red light completely. <laughs> there's like four cars around us. And then like everybody just starts staring and it's like, <laughs> did you just see that? Did it, there's a person in like, that trunk. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Apparently, I said, "What if we forget about Seth?" <laughs> <laughs> and Seth was like, "Oh, don't worry, I can get myself I, out. I, I, I can just get myself out." I would have started screaming and just being like, "I was, Help. you know, I was really tempted to start screaming." I want one hundred percent. But we were oh at that gosh. red light for some good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get in trouble a lot in school? Um, not really. I was. You re look like you would have been in trouble for running your mouth. No, I'm. I I was really so. I'm butt buddies with like all my teachers and principals. <laughs> butt buddies. That means you're just close, I uh, think. Uh, um, you might want to look that yeah, one. Yeah, you might want to rethink <laughs> butt buddies with but I teachers. Was, I was really cool with all my teachers. Um, I was butt buddies with my teachers. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd always like skip class and wear like heelys around the hallways and just have some fun. Sounds like something Zach would do. Oh, no, I've got heelys in my Seth room right now. Is a hundred percent right. According to Urban Dictionary, two very close friends that spend a lot of time together and are rarely seen apart from each other. Butt buddies. Butt buddies. <laughs> Interesting. Where my buddies, Jared? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I, don't, I don't like the saying. No. So. Send me some what? pics or it didn't happen. Um, uh, why y'all got to make it weird? Yeah. Why y'all got to make it weird? Okay. No, I feel weird. And then um, Jenna, you had another. Um, yeah. I was like, I want to oh get back gosh. to. You had another relationship. Why do we keep getting into my horrible dating life? So we're basically. James. I, James. So we're gonna I feel like I've had the most traumatic experiences with dating. That's your fault. It is, it, do you think it's because you pick bad guys? <clears throat> um, I really do. I think I find the most toxic one and I'm like, you're my boyfriend. What, it, <laughs> what, it, what initially attracts you to them? Let's go, Jenna. <laughs> I don't and know. We, me and Indiana were actually talking about this. Uh -huh. We just we find the good in every guy. We're like, oh, you're you break every girl's heart. I'm gonna find the good in that. But I think it's <laughs> a, I I was telling her it's like we focus too much on how they are alone versus around people because we were like in our minds it's such a weird manipulative process because like they 
act completely different alone than yeah, around people. Absolutely. And I was like, you guys don't see him when when we're alone together. Did it and. I completely forgot that, like a true judge of character is how somebody acts around everyone else and in public. Yeah. Like that's a true judge of character because I felt that. and like it treated me like shit in front of other people and that's why everybody else fucking he hated him. He didn't mean to. And, <laughs> and I don't know like guys always have this charm or they'll talk so highly but then never show anything. Uh -huh. And so I think I always fall for guys words and never their actions until it's absolutely too late. See, <laughs> yeah, I do okay. the opposite. You f you fall for their actions? Huh? No, I uh, I boost myself down. So when I actually do things, they're like, "Wow, that was wow, impressive. you did anything today?" Yeah. <laughs> okay, Seth. Right. <laughs> okay, so you tricked your brother into having a roommate with your ex boyfriend. Oh my gosh! So yeah. What was it? So we were doing long distance for a really long time. He was in the army, and he was getting out. And so I was like, "You should move in with me." And oh, smart. Don't. How long have you been dating? At this um, point? we were dating like. Two months. Oh my God, Jenna. Jenna. I don't know what I, I was like head over heels for this guy because he was just telling me all these great things about myself. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he moved I like in. my hair too. Right. <laughs> you should move in forever. Right. Yeah, for sure. And so he moved in and yeah, three weeks after I was like, hmm, I don't think I really like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Right. Who would have oh thought? Oh my God. And so I... I mean, I obviously told him that I was like not So you guys are only it. dating like three months. Yeah, very, very short relationship. And on top of it, we booked a uh, Jamaica trip okay. together with his parents. So um, <laughs> we could Which, not get a refund on this like, Jamaica trip at all. That, yeah, we, we could not get a refund and I could not find anyone to so take you, over my trip. I didn't realize his parents were on the trip. Yeah, his parents definitely went on the trip with <laughs> us. <laughs> they were there to witness. Yeah, it was, I mean, they, they obviously had their own separate um, room. Did they notice the turmoil between you two yeah did they know honestly anything? like it wasn't a we didn't end or we ended badly but when we were together at the time like friends it wasn't ever weird i guess like we had like kind of a mutual feeling about it until the end i guess yeah then you made it weird and then <laughs> i uh, well so when we got back from jamaica he said he was gonna move out and go on his own well he didn't have a car and didn't have a job and was like practically living off me and Seth. Oh, that's a good guy. Yeah, great guy. And so uh, I told him that he had to get out and he was like, well, I ain't got anywhere to go. He was just making excuses after excuses. So I packed all my stuff and I went and lived with friends for a couple weeks and left Seth with him. So basically what she's saying <laughs> is that worst. she left me with her ex-boyfriend, I guess. At your apartment. At, at our, our apartment, apartment, sleeping in her bed for like a month. <laughs> it was for awful. A month. Oh and, it was and awful. Like, I mean, I, I feel for the guy because Jenna, what she did to him, terrible. Yeah. Like, I would feel I terrible. I told him he had to get out. And, I was that terrible. And so you just leave I don't want my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, you I don't were, want my ex boyfriend living so, in my house. I so you move? I shouldn't he? Yeah, you that's kick what him I'm out. saying. No, I was trying to kick him out, and he was just like, "I don't have a car yet." Like, I left to let him figure that out and figure out where he was going, and it was just awkward that I was there. So I gave him the time to like figure out where to go, but he was taking advantage of the time, and that's when things went south. And so yeah. you say, you know, if you won't leave, I will. And then Seth is just at the house like, so, I guess I have an so why, why yeah. she was gone, I was basically his therapist. Yeah. And, <laughs> and his communication to her, because Jenna completely just cut him off. I said I unfollowed so, him and blocked so him. So every everything. day, every morning, While he's every living night, with your brother. While he's living with me. So I had to talk Maybe to I'm him. Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> you are the problem. I have... 19 years of my life, I've known that fact. I'm every guy, problem. Every guy she brings home, I'm like... God bless you. <laughs> I'm, I'm really I'm not so, the problem. So while while she was gone and living with her friend, you were talking shit about her. Oh, I was this. talking mad smack. <laughs> <laughs> like he he was like, oh, do you think she'll like still love me? Like are we gonna be friends? Absolutely. And I was like, dude, she's no. No, she sucks. Need, she's toxic. You should get out. Toxic. You need to get out. You need to run as far as hey, you I'm can. Right go to here. go to Kansas but or you're, something. You're trying to help her out so he'd finally leave, right? Uh, oh no! I I was okay. I was on his you're side. Just being okay. completely honest, but it just so happened that it would like. Did he start? Did he start psychology. agreeing with you, or is he like, no, she's the one? Uh, absolutely. In, in some in one. some way, he was like, yeah, I know this relationship's really toxic, but like, I just love her so much. I was like, run, <laughs> just run, get rid of every evidence. I of am her a good girlfriend. The only reason oh. it was like that is because he was just using it. He, was, he like, was mooching off yeah, you. Yeah, and it was taking so long to the point where I couldn't be nice anymore, you know? Because if you're overly nice and let people run over you, they're just going to take advantage of every mm -hmm. moment. 
So I tell you, you make so me look like the bad guy, but really, it had been going on for months. No, I'm on your side about. Wait, how did you? He was also taking your money. How'd you feel about um, that? Oh, I'd give him my money. <laughs> well, that's too nice. That's like Seth's I'm, biggest fan. I'm not. I'm not too nice. I'm just respectable. Can I have the some? The man money? didn't have a job for like How six much? months. Actually, no. That's true. Seth is very uh, generous with his money because we went to Knotts and oh, yeah. uh, they were like, "I was like, how much are tickets?" Or they they were like, "You should come." I was like, "How much are tickets?" They're sixty bucks, and then I was like, "Okay, I can swing that." And they're like, "We're gonna get fast passes. It's an extra hundred dollars." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, have fun at Knotts." And I was then, like, "No, you're coming." Yeah, Seth you're was coming. like. I'll buy your fast pass right now, and then we <laughs> shook on it, and on the spot, Ven would be a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Wow, did. that's so, pretty nice. That's beautiful. But, uh, you, you and told we got me, to ride all the, the rides. Oh yeah. <laughs> so her ex that I sat out on. I was like, I'm gonna pay for a fast yeah. pass. I don't know why I did that. I was like, I'm gonna pay for a fast pass, and I'm gonna come, and I'm just gonna sit. Well, you ride. You, you rode did? on some rides. Yeah. I rode on some rides, that but then was. I really it, it was one particular ride that really effed me up, and it was Silver Bullet. I was like, shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, so much shouldn't have done sick. that. But her ex boyfriend used to cook for you, right? That was his redeeming oh, quality. Yeah, he um he would go to Walmart and buy uh, Tyson uh, blackened chicken Alfredo. Yeah, he was talking to me with about this. He was like, money? "Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, with <laughs> your money." <laughs> right. Oh, huh. Okay, so Jenna's not giving him enough credit. He did go get a job and got himself a truck. He he oh, worked okay. construction. No. He was making more money than Jenna was. So <laughs> that is false. No, uh, I'm false I don't accusations. Know how accurate that is, but <laughs> that is definitely he did. False. He did definitely cook for me, and I was like, right, "This guy's not too bad." <laughs> so for a little bit, you had a private chef. No, I, I, just, <laughs> I really did. Okay, listen. No, he didn't have a private chef because when he's talking about is it's a frozen pasta that you buy at Walmart oh, for like five dollars and heat it up food. on a stove and it's food. food That's what I was talking. He was talking. I could even do that. A baby could do that. Because I was talking to him about it yesterday. I was like, Seth, what? He's like, I was like, this guy have any redeeming qualities? He's like, he was the best cook you've ever seen. I was like, <laughs> what? Frozen I was like, what did he meals. make you? He's like, oh, he would go to Walmart and he would buy these frozen Tyson chicken wings. Oh and then, my gosh. And, so good. and then he would heat them up for I was like, so he just heated <laughs> up food with, okay. And then he's like, no, no, no. He did more stuff. Like he had noodles and then apparently now those were heated up as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, Seth couldn't cook to save his life I can't and cook. he probably eats out for breakfast lunch and dinner every single day you, that is so false. you and jared oh should God, have a cook off yeah because jared's jared, the worst cook i've ever jared seen jared consistently <laughs> jared is um so he both of these two don't like grocery shopping whatsoever so they'll like let it run down to their have they have beans and rice left and that's about it the jared rice. i've seen it happen he's only had pasta Hot sauce and that's it. That's that's about it. We were no, no, talking think, about your rice and hot sauce. I've been on a sure. rice and hot Dude, sauce. I'll be gig. I'll be on a trip and he'll call me. And be like, uh, so those would be plain noodles that are just in a Tupperware container in the fridge. He's like, hey, how long have these noodles been in there? I'm like, oh, dude, I haven't been back in forever. Probably like two weeks. He's like, <laughs> oh those are good. <laughs> and then, Same with the cookie situation. Over here. <laughs> yeah, that cookie was good. I think that they got a little cookie. bit of preservatives, but those are like <laughs> it's just mushy. Like, what was there mold and did you eat around it? No, it was it was all good. They were actually a little hard. Uh, so <laughs> oh my god, they started to fossilize. It's yeah. food, I guess. <laughs> it's food. Is, <laughs> food is food. If it's edible, I've seen. I've walked in and he's had pasta, hot sauce, and oyster crackers. Oh, that was even lower than just pasta. Right, yeah, and the hot oyster sauce. crackers. That's like I was like, line. what the? And he goes, Gosh. they had a crunch. I was like, shut <laughs> I like up. The crunch. <laughs> I was like, shut up, please shut up, and go away. <laughs> Well, that's that's good to hear. So, and then he eventually. Well, you you said your dad was. You're maybe gonna get him to kick him out. Oh yeah. So I had left on a trip to Phoenix, and I texted him, and I was like, you know, I'd I'd really like to live at my house that I pay for. You know, mm -hmm. I'd really like sense. to move home. And so I told him that he had to be out by the end of the week, or my parents were gonna get involved. And yeah, so I told my parents if he's not out by the Sunday, I get back. That they were gonna come and take all the stuff and throw it outside. <laughs> nice. But our parents, like, they were gonna come down, but then they just didn't. So he stayed an extra week after that. But then he was gonna. Yeah. Well, what, what? my parents did not like him at all. Well, yeah. Like so from that the beginning. was horrible. Yeah, they did not like him at all. How did you guys meet? Uh, we went to high school together. Oh, okay. What was the last thing he said to you, Seth? Last thing he said to me. Well, the last time I talked to him, uh, Jenna locked him outside. So. <laughs> I had to go through him to get inside. Remember when he was like <laughs> drop drop off that letter for our apartment complex? Saying oh yeah, oh there? yeah. So even even funnier story. He texted. He, well, he texted my dad first because he couldn't get a hold of me, and he said, "Hey, will you sign this paper that proves that I didn't pay rent for the last six months?" 
so that I can get a, that so I can buy a house. Dude, what a bold that move. That proves that he so didn't. didn't pay rent. And so my dad texted me and said, why "Will would, you sign this paper so we can just get rid of him?" And I said, "Wait, wait, wait okay. why would he need a paper that said, that proves that he didn't?" So pay? he could buy a home. So because he hasn't like had a uh I guess you have to have like a history of payments or something to like mm. prove and he didn't have that because he wasn't paying rent and he was in the army before so he wasn't paying anything. And so there was like a six month period that he wasn't paying for anything. And I guess you need to prove something. I don't know how it worked, but he, he called me and was like, will you just sign this paper? And at first I was like, no, I'm not signing that paper. Like why? Like you should have paid rent. And then my dad was like, just sign the dang paper so we can get rid of him. And so I didn't want to see him at all. So I literally locked him outside my house and said, you could set it on the porch and then I'll come out, sign it. And then I'll leave it out there and you can come back and get it. <laughs> how, long, how long ago was this? Um, maybe like two months ago. Wow, that's it's seems- very recent. <laughs> so is he now a proud homeowner? Did um, he go? From- I don't know. I have him blocked and everything. So it's not that he didn't have the money to pay rent. He just didn't. We so we told him over and over. Like I was like, hey, send me rent money, and he would come up with some excuse that he didn't have it, or or he would like think I would forget about it or something and never mention it again. I'm spending too much on the love I have for you or something. <laughs> yeah, something so dumb. That's really awkward oh. when like. You're like, how do I tell this person that they owe me money? And yeah. It's like a very uncomfortable and it's, situation. Yeah, it's and you're so like, hard. So I'm okay. like, can you just leave? Thank you. Well, Thank you're you. back on the market now. So we brought a series of 60 guys in. They're going to come in Six. and uh, oh, gosh. see which oh, one God. you like. This should be interesting. Yeah, so all you have to do is just all point. Right. First one. <laughs> step up. It just <laughs> turns into a cut video. I know. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be actually really Cut videos funny. are my favorite videos to watch. Like Binge watch. Team. They're hilarious. Should we do a little red flag? Yeah. To see what speaking kind of, of uh, bad relationships, let's play some red flags. Yeah. So it's a little card game. We're trying to find the perfect date for everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's actually a card game called Red Flags. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Spo- it's sponsored by Jenna. Yeah. The handcuffs are coming off for this part. Oh, finally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you kept them on that long. I was starting to lose circulation. In my hands <laughs> That's okay. At least you're building up a tolerance. Are we ready? So we're going to pick a. Well, let's okay. do you first. My dark girl. Do so, me first. Yeah. So we can figure out how to do it. Okay. All right. So I'll go first. I'll explain my girl, then Jenna, Seth, Indy. Okay. Uh, Jared. Yes. Um, has the most attractive face you've ever seen. That's, wow, that's a good that's quality. That's a fantastic And you card. enjoy looking at girls. I've seen you. I so do. it's Haley Steinfeld. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Owens a 500-foot yacht. Holy oh. fuck. Okay. Yeah, so she's pretty, <laughs> so she's pretty yeah. great. Yeah. She's pretty great so far. Whether you like this last guy or not really tells who you are, unfortunately. Um, so for me, this would be a bad card. For you, it might be good. I don't, I'm just not sure. Brags to everyone about being a grand wizard in the KKK. <laughs> So, oh no, that's something I'd be personally against. <laughs> like, they oh, brag no. about it. Um, oh, they do, no. they brag about it. <laughs> she's um, got a yacht. You really hyped her up there. I know. She, <laughs> was, yacht. she <laughs> was so good. I was hoping it would be like kills kittens on the weekends or something, oh you know, because I could like, I could look past that, but I can't. That So, you he's can't. basically saying gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look past just, that. For, for your own sake, I just hope you don't choose my girl. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Oh, we don't want that God. one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. Oh, is it my turn? All right. White cards first, yeah. White cards. So, is a vampire the sexy kind? Oh, cute. Pretty yeah. Much. Eternal life? Yeah. Oh, Get my her to God. change you? I'm, my biggest right. fear is death. You could live so. forever. That's really wild that your biggest fear is death because once you're dead, it's like you're dead. You but don't we know don't know dead. that. We don't know what happens after. And I know you're going to say something. Nothing shit happens. That. We're going to decompose in a box. Continue. You don't though. know that. Yeah. Um, loves children. Hates so kids. Oh, okay. I don't hate kids. He's just a trash. Really? You're not a kid guy? No, I'm not a kid guy. Really? Well, the red flag kind of goes with this one. Collects dumpster babies. Oh. What does oh. that mean? It's, oh. it's okay. Oh so when you don't want a child, um, some mothers um, will throw it in a dumpster. But they love the children. So, so they collect these dumpster oh, yeah, babies. So, so they can so love. Wait, hold on. So I'm here in like she's three. kind of a good Samaritan. Yeah, yeah. I'm she's here in like dumpster three. Babies. Yeah, she saves thought, dumpster babies. I thought dumpster babies were like used condoms in a trash can. All right, I Urban Dictionary. You know. <laughs> <Let's>, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's gonna... what dumpster babies is. Is that like sperm in a used condom in a trash can? That's a dumpster baby. According to Urban Dictionary, <laughs> is he what? Right? Why is this so <laughs> fucking specific? <laughs> um, it's urban. Uh, okay. The, well, the first return on Urban Dictionary says the nickname for a breed of girl who lives in northwest Portland, Oregon. Um, these girls are most easily identified by their epic walks of shame that include stumbling around a blank. No, that's not that. Yeah. Huh? 
Um, mm-hmm. A child that occurs after a body night of cheap motel room after senior prom sex, so called because the mother does not want and leaves it in a dumpster. Okay, so it is. Uh, maybe I was wrong. It's okay. I mean, yours is a good guess. Okay. So she's a good Samaritan yeah, in Jared. a sense. Okay, uh, Seth? And she's a vampire. Oh, for me. All right, so my girl. My girl. Um, so first of all, she owns 100 horses. Oh, oh so she's going to smell bad. So if you're into horse girls, <laughs> that's going great so far. That's my kink. Um, and this card says drives a blank. So is that oh, right? It's a, it's, um, he drives a... Audi R8. Just say, just say it. it. An Audi R8. I can't read lips. An Audi R8. An Audi R8. Audi R8. Okay. Pretty nice. I get to drive it on weekends, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, and then, yacht, though. and her <laughs> and her kink is literally will only talk about putting things in your butt. Oh, if you like That's butt stuff. That's all she talks she about. She cannot talk about anything else. Literally, but you like literally butt stuff? will only talk about putting things in your butt. So you may be at a nice dinner and she might talk about she's putting like, a breadstick up your butt. But <laughs> she's maybe got a hundred horses. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And she's going to talk about them putting things up your butt. So she's a no. Yeah. But, I mean, but, well, but I mean, if you I like mean, butt hey, stuff, then I mean, she could be a yes. To be fair, yes. to be fair, she hasn't killed anybody. She doesn't pick up. Wait, dumpster babies. Dumpster but, babies. But she doesn't hey, own a yacht. The dumpster baby is. She's saving people. <laughs> she's not a grand wizard. And she's got a nice Dude, car. I hate my car. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. feel like I'm gonna get canceled just for having my card. <laughs> no, no. Is he YouTube celebrity? So Pretty she's probably cool. raking in the K. It's JoJo on. Siwa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> professional surfer. I've oh. never not seen a hot surfer. So that's, that's true. Yeah. Especially the women. That's true. <laughs> and this one is. It can't be worse than Zach's. No, it's card. not. Nothing's worse. Uh, jerks off to pictures of your family. Oh, the classic. Whoa. That's a plus. Interesting. So like, like my extended, like the whole extended, or like my two moms. Family, like probably your two moms. So it could be me. She's probably buying. Is like, Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, that threesome app we were does talking she, about. <laughs> does she do that in private or like? Like you, you've seen it. You know she does it. I mean, interesting. Like, um, wait, what were what were the two white cards again? YouTube celebrity and a professional surfer. Mm. If you don't go for Jenna's. Yeah, I was going to have to go for I was trying to see she if I could. She saves children. So. She saves children. I was seeing if I could She's look the past the. It does say collects. You were thinking the, you could look past the grand wizard thing? No, <laughs> I was going to look past the jerking off to pictures of my parents. <laughs> but um, I would like to live forever. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. And You'd have lots of children, though. Yeah, but you can get past that. I can get past that. Someone to like take up your time. Yeah, exactly. Like you're be on Earth for a while. You You teach me to throw baseball. Oh, that would be so much fun, actually. All right, so Jenna, um, (laughs) now it's your turn. It's your turn. Seth, you go first. What are these these light? Is this for Jenna? Are we using the dark or light ones? Uh, The dark ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I I go first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, so this is we're doing boys now, unless you want to do a girl. But boys, we'll do boys. Okay. All right. He loves to laugh. Okay. All right. right. So good for lives in a castle. Oh, Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Last lives in a castle. Before. He's got his own place, so. Right. Yeah, that's that's a first. But Never just, dated one of those one, guys. One hiccup, <laughs> one hiccup with that guy, though, is. So he's got a kink. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. um, he keeps the severed heads of all their exes in a fancy glass display case. So you hey, never, never have to worry about exes. <laughs> but you also <laughs> never want to. Hey, so, hey, Jenna, you also never want to be one. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is also so if true. You get cut off, literally. Um. Be uh, in a oh. glass case. Yeah, that, so that's something to think a little about. terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Uh... But if you make it work, he loves to laugh. And if he lives in a castle, that means mula. It's pretty cool. Uh, might have to pass on that one. All right, Indy. All right. Thanks. Professional football player. Oh, okay. Oh. So okay. he's got so the tall, the buffy, money. I tall, like that. buffy, oh, yeah. money. Those usually end in terrible ways. Yeah, real <laughs> bad ways. But right. um, he, oh, on the weekends, he's a park ranger. Loves the nature. Oh, wow. that's nice. Are you a He's nature girl? He's got two jobs. I can't even get a guy with a job. I know. That's wild. <laughs> Unfortunately, now, he still wants to live with you. I'm not sure <laughs> if you can look past this, depending on what oh. career path you were deciding if TikTok doesn't work out. Um, he does post all of your sex tapes to Facebook. Oh. Ooh. Um, so there's you that. Not for the family to money. see. <laughs> But you would so make you, some you, money. Not even OnlyFans. Straight I, right. to Facebook. Facebook. Right. Ray for the That's day that, the that, I never, that never happens. <laughs> okay. So Only the, families. So <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a girl that likes style. Yeah. Well, this is the world's best hairstylist. Ooh. Oh. You've, nice you've had, hair. You've had hair before. Yeah. Okay. Owns a goose that lays designer clothing. Whoa. 
Wow. wow. No trying. wonder, no wonder he's styling. <laughs> and then this thing, easy to look past, uh, calls your mom the C word to her face. <laughs> oh, well, I love but my it, mama yeah. more than anything. So. Well, for me in a would, joking way. <laughs> how would, uh, well, it's a red card, so I assume not. How would Mama Pry feel about that? Um, my mom's very sensitive. She'd probably cry. <laughs> She's oh. Is she Christian or Catholic? Christian. She's a Christian woman. I don't know how that she would, would not like that. She mm. is dangerous. All right. Now this guy, he uh, he's a professional chef. Oh, so okay. He'll whip wow, it up in the better kitchen. Better than the frozen meals at Walmart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, he always knows how to stop you from crying. Okay. okay so I cry all the time. He's very uh, um, in tune emotionally. Um, and he volunteers at an animal shelter oh. because he absolutely loves euthanizing dogs. <laughs> Huh? That's what the red card says. That's his red card? Uh, That's yeah. a plus. Volunteers okay. at an animal... Yeah. Just, there's his stance. <laughs> Volunteers oh, at an animal the shelter puppies. because they love to euthanize dogs. Yeah, yes. but, at, but at the same time, those dogs could be in a very bad place or they're very old and just hurting. No. And but he loves if it's to at an animal shelter, die. If it's at an animal shelter, it means dogs that are just fine, but like nobody's can come to claim them. See, oh, wait, I love dogs. That Pause. is the biggest red flag. Isn't euthanizing where they get rid of their... Uh, nope. Genitalia? No, that's uh, where they, That's where they put them down. Euthanizing is where they literally. Oh, that's put them terrible. Down. <laughs> there we go. You know what I what I always plan to do, and I, I don't know what the legalities on this sitch would ever be. Euthanize dogs? What? I was wondering no. where this is going. No, no, no. I wanted to buy a farm and have people run it and just literally just adopt all the dogs, like oh, from like pounds, nice. and just have them like be on a farm together. I don't nice. know how that would ever work. You can make that work in well, Nashville. That's easy. Just buy to, land to and make just work. There you it's kind of like a zoo almost, you know. It's kind of and then and then and then like what pack. I would do is I'd have it like it it would be up like people could come and adopt those dogs. Yeah, they just don't get put down. Yeah. So I guess it'd be like a massive animal shelter. Exactly, just well, the like doggy zoo, like Hotel for Dogs. Oh, I loved that movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> it's a good movie. Okay, so which which one do you want? What was your red flag again, India? Oh, it was um, posting your sex tapes to Facebook. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that's the best one. I was like, Why? Why? Zach, what was yours? Excuse uh, me. C, uh, calls your mom the C oh, word to her right. face. Yeah, that was really hard, honestly. But, but now everyone's seeing you have sex. rabid sex. You want that over your mom getting her feelings hurt? <laughs> I mean, maybe I could make some money on the side. I don't okay. know. <laughs> you know what? You can make a nice ton of money right. on OnlyFans. And I got fans. a football player with two oh, jobs. Oh, 100%. You can make some nice <laughs> money. Maybe a black money. guy in the future. <laughs> so you're not even going to care. You're right. going to be like, yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> All right. I mean, like, we, I know one of, like, like, one of my makeup artists that, like, she's not, like, a celebrity makeup artist or in of any kind. She was just a makeup artist that was on a show that I worked on. She told me that she started an OnlyFans. She doesn't post nudes. She just posts in lingerie oh. and like sexually, like sexually, um, like provocative photos yeah. and like in lingerie she told me that she makes at least 20 grand a month, 25. Oh and she, she has gosh. like, but is that not fucking weird? The guys are just paint. Okay. Like by, by yeah. means. like, do you think? Like, and it's just lingerie. She's not even naked. Huh. I'm like, to be fair, stinks. it's affordable. Maybe I'm doing it all Very wrong affordable. Like $3 for like OnlyFans subscription. So well, sometimes. How do you I, know that? Like, yeah, I so, I no, Tana Mojo went all the way up to like 20. You can do like 20, 30, 40, 50. Well, I have a, there's a, a, a friend of one of my friends has an OnlyFans. And um, we were like at a party one night and she was like, she would kept going to the bathroom. And I was like, wow, you gotta go to the bathroom a lot. She's like, oh no, guys are paying me like 60 bucks at a time to like take custom pictures. Amazing. Yeah. Custom I, pictures. Like they, they'd just be like, pose think? pose this way. And you know, like just top off with your like peace sign or whatever. And then she got 60 bucks. She made like $1,200 that but night like, or something. That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> like that's, I had a oh friend. I'm not gonna call this friend out. I had a friend. Um, and she couldn't really get a normal job, but like the entertainment industry wasn't supporting her enough. She started doing like feet pictures, mm. just your feet. She right. would get she would get paid like four hundred dollars for a pe for feet pics. What? Or, like one time, one time, because she would only ever do it like if it was like really expensive pay. And so that one time, a guy awful. asked her to take a selfie with her feet like this. Twelve hundred dollars on the spot. For feet pics? 
Okay. Well, I was trying to get it for 1100 but she talked me into it. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Loves the outdoors. All right. It's All right. nice. How do you feel about that? I can get um, down with that. Okay. Perfect amount of physical oh. affection. Oh, all the way. All yep. the way. Yep. Nice. I love affection. I don't like that. Don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Sells oh. yellow snow cones out of a van. Oh. So they, <laughs> they pee and sell it to kids. All right. So I'm basically go. extra money. Okay. So my my lovely lady, um, your parents love them. Oh, okay. okay. And you okay. love that. Has a mansion in Nashville. Whoa. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and then one little weird thing that they do, um, they ejaculate bees. So Ooh. bees, it's just yeah. The <laughs> they ejaculate bees. How does they? Uh, that yep. Uh, so that just happens. So I don't e- just as long as you want to know how that works, hey, just it's never the satisfy them. It's, it's the movie <laughs> Teeth all over again, but with bees. Oh, that oh. was such an awful Dude, movie. Dude, that movie I was can't so you. bad. I all I kept hearing it, it was getting hyped up so much. I know. And then it was quite honestly the worst thing. What's I've the ever movie seen. about? So it, was, it, was the okay. bi- it was the biggest jabooby ever. Yeah, <laughs> jabooby. Um, so the whole premise is that there's a girl that has uh, like shark teeth in yeah. her vagina. Mm. Um, so anything that goes in there gets bitten off well, if she feels if, threatened. if she feels threatened or mad yeah she could just snip snip you, all right you, uh, so what were the cards what were your cards jerry uh, i know wait did you uh, say your cards uh-huh did you yeah what were they ejaculates bees oh that's right <laughs> that's how we got into the movie okay yeah. that makes sense uh, i was gonna say where did this come all right from? also lost how we got there <laughs> so this girl seth oh, this is the one. she has all the same hobbies as you okay Skater girl. So she's weird. She's weird, <laughs> um, but matches your weird in a good way. Okay. Um, and she gets front row tickets to every concert. Do you like you like I, concerts? I like music. Okay. Yeah, you've heard okay. it. I don't think you've ever been to a concert. Day, really. <laughs> I, I have been to like this, like it was like this Christian thing. It was like the winter jam or something like that. They have it. Well, like she's getting you front row here. seats. Yeah. Were you oh, front yeah. row? Huh? Could have been. I was nose bleeds. Could have been front row. Um, but... Uh, depending on what you're into, they they fantasize about killing and eating you, and they won't shut up about it. So they bring it up often. Okay, something to think about. Oh. Jacqueline and doesn't seem so bad, does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you almost well. want it now. Beg for my bees. <laughs> Beg for my bees. Okay, Jenna, over to you. Sorry, okay. I just hate this slander in my own home. This girl is a millionaire. Oh, I like millionaire. Money's good. Yeah, she has a twin. That, that could, could that, that could, could cause get, some problems. Yeah, that yeah. could get a little confusing. But <laughs> he's just he's or it could be fun depending on what the twins are up. into. Yeah, right. You never know. I don't think you want twins that have that's um, on their weirder. part. Who are we talking to that had that happen to them? Oh, <laughs> told me that he had a set of twins come up to him and be like, "Down, I have a threesome," and then the two twins started making out with each other. I what hate that. is that? Not so effing gross that is yeah that's like weird. so that's Jared, like why that. are you looking like I, I hate that. the way you looked at your face went i'm contemplating whether i no, think that's I, hard I, I, I have but is that not right? so gross that and then he gross. went i guess i'm down okay. <laughs> no, i don't know if he said that but it seems like oh my gosh well california she has a special knife they use to kill kittens ah there it is <laughs> That could be that so, could ejaculating be bees doesn't <laughs> seem so bad. To be fair, to be fair, I am a dog person. Oh. They kill cats. I'm allergic to cats, so I'm like, I'm, I'm allergic so, too. So yeah. I think me, me and Indiana are on the same page here. Like, I think I can look past her killing kittens. Mm. Well, I, I can look past that because not a lot of people can afford these animals, so they're probably. Are you not even thinking about the party trick I have here? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Ejaculating bees. bees. Ejac- <laughs> it's been in my mind. Okay. Very far back there. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine. Don't fine, pick my fine. card. It's just a little disrespectful. But I'm, <laughs> so who I'm do just you saying choose? these cats are probably going to end up on the streets anyway. But here's the thing. This person isn't actually I, I like killing. I don't want to hear anything from you. <laughs> <laughs> She's not actually killing and eating you. She's just like kind of into it. Why do you have these? <laughs> <laughs> they came in. Uh, actually, oh, Indy got they? sent them. I did. <laughs> really? By some yeah. company. I don't forget. I what think I got sent them. I used it for my Halloween costume. Oh, <laughs> I got sent them 
from icing. If you're listening, you know, the, you know, icing? the adult version of Claire's. Yeah. I got sent them fuzzy, in um, icing, and it came in their handcuffs. handcuffs. It came in their Valentine's Day box with oh, a sex dice, sense. like the dice that you roll that are like this body part <laughs> and what you do to it. Um, they came with those. They came with um, blindfolds. Like they were getting kinky, and I was like, "Okay, icing, getting nasty." Huh, interesting. I think I've been which is so weird because life. <laughs> once you turn eighteen, if you ever work with Claire's, so I did a lot of work with Claire's. Um, literally, my face was in in Claire's for like months and months at a time, and all my friends would be like, "Hey, like, okay." <laughs> but once you turn eighteen, it's almost like you graduate to icing from there. Or like once you turn like 18 or something, hmm. then they start sending you product from icing, which is their adult version of yeah. Claire's. Um, and so the first box I got from them, I think was something like that. And it was hilarious. I was like, okay, I guess I've graduated. Oh. Which one did you pick? Um, I might have to go with Jenna's girl on this one. Hey, wow, mine's hey. cool. What was yours what, again? What was yours again? What's her bad card? Oh, no, sell, sells pecones. Oh, yeah, oh, pecones. That's, yeah. This is mine. That's kind of gross. All right, let's uh, build a boy for Indy. Oh, we like building boys. Build a boy. Oh, oh, oh. This ain't build a bitch. <laughs> Indy, so this guy uh, loves sports. Okay, cool. Owns an okay. island in the Bahamas. Amazing. And picks and, oh, yep, picks and eats your scabs. Oh. I, I would get down with picking, Island in the Bahamas, though. And I was in the Bahamas, bleh. but he eats your scabs. That was disgusting. You got to kiss that. You know, like uh, meth heads do that because it'll get you like re high again or something like that. Really? Wait, why? I don't know. Have or you have you ever seen like... when they're like they're all like, scarred up or something? They'll literally eat their scars like it's like a jail or something because they'll just keep getting high from it. That's disgusting. That is, that's hot. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> I'm into it. So did... this guy, Indy, mm -hmm. is the president. Oh, so it's Joe ew. Biden. I didn't really want to. Joe Biden. I mean, oh. cool, but like, I don't want to be like dating Joe Biden. Well, oh, fine. Yeah. Sleepy Joe. What if he has the <laughs> hottest friends as well? <laughs> but I can't sleep with those friends. Well, I'm pretty sure you, you might be know. able to work something out because he is actively sleeping with his siblings. Oh, <laughs> that's God. a lot of sleeping. Dude. All right, so if he has the hottest it, friends. This sounds like an inquirer. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. If he has the hottest friends and he's cheating on me, then I'm sure he'd be like, okay, it's fine. And you're the president of the United States, so I could blackmail him and be like, we can be together and I won't tell the world that you're sleeping with your siblings. So frankly, I don't get, I don't care, but like, let me sleep with your friends. There you go. Okay. All right. These days yeah. they probably make them popular. Oh, I don't though. even, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. People would be um, very into it. A famous fashion designer. <gasps> love fashion. I love fashion. Oh yeah. Big fan. They're also a college English professor. Okay, cool. A little bit. What little, a, um, a little, right. pretty yeah, little right. liars action. He knows, yeah. He knows English. But he directs pornography. Kind of into it. That's not he has bad. three jobs, what I heard. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Sounds like you'll never see him. <laughs> also fine by me. <laughs> hey, lots of money. <laughs> That's what I hear. So he's he's a director of the pornographics. Yeah. He's an English teacher. Professor. Very, very, very And what was, the, what was the other one? Um, famous, famous, <laughs> famous, famous fashion designer. You know what? Not sound too bad. Yours? That sounds well, pretty good, Was your bad card? Sleeping with a lot of people. Sleeps oh, right. <laughs> President Joe Biden. Right. All right. Seth? Joe Biden. All right. So my guy, he's respectful. We're already not in a good start. I don't know how, how I feel about um, He's a supermodel, though. Oh. Supermodel. He's respectful oh. and a, and slightly pretentious, I'm sure. You'll love this one. <laughs> uh, he's, he yells, <laughs> fuck you, at every baby they see. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I like him. I That matches you. So you're out, Jared. What? Well, I honestly, supermodel, respective, and cusses at babies. So Jenna's works too much. That's unfortunate. Otherwise, I would have picked him. You said that was fine. Yeah, I know. You? No. Um, <laughs> Zach. No way. Bahamas. No way. Owned an island in the Are Bahamas. And what was the my, other one? My only He's thing on mine is you don't have scabs often. Exactly. He'd probably harm you so you get scabbed. I don't have no If idea. that's his kink. That's not his kink. Um, so he, he, his good ones are Bahamas and- I would have picked your guys. He's a supermodel. My guy's rich. Wait, so what was your he, bad card? He owns a My bad card cusses at babies. That's kind of funny. It's so funny. What was your, what was your good ones? <laughs> uh, Bahamas and, and love sports. Well, maybe I choose you. You playing Pokemon? Pokemon? I, I choose you. <laughs> Actually, I choose you. All right, last one is yes. me, and then we'll probably wrap this up. Yeah, I'm sure we're way over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want me to go? <laughs> okay, I'm just oh, gonna go. All right, Jared, you're up first. <laughs> okay. Um, Zach, you've been into reading recently. I've read 
multiple words. Uh, this girl has the same favorite books. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, she never arrives prematurely. Um, always right on time. Have to work on that. <laughs> um, but. but she uh, she thinks Hitler had some good ideas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so That's I think one, one of those books might have been Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna hear out the rest, Jared, before I make my decision. <laughs> All right, my girl is a good listener. Nice, I like that. She yeah. gives come by. great massages. It's, I sometimes I need one. Yeah, but. Every inch of her body okay. is tattooed with dicks. Okay. Huh. You can't bring that home to Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gina. First would off, flip. mom, it's art. And <laughs> second off, just imagine I love it. A, just imagine a penis right on your nose right here. And then also on the side, yeah. Um, Everywhere. Veiny, Everywhere. I assume. The nostrils are Yeah, I, I mean, it didn't say oh. detailed looking dicks, but I mean, if she, they're everywhere, she's probably got like very like, multiple. I feel like you can get away designed. with very cartoony. Yeah. Um, but every inch of her body. It's a lot all over her face. That is everywhere. Okay. Well, I'm going to, okay. She's I'm on gonna, the toes and all. I'm going to weigh that in my toe mind. Toe dicks. <laughs> all right. All right, Zach. Let me tell you. Each I got the dick. perfect girl for you. So far, you're winning. I was literally, <laughs> I was literally looking at these cards. I'm like, this fits Zach. Okay. All right. So first one, banger. Lives off the grid. Love that. Oh, okay. Lives off the grid. Second one, never blames you for anything. Okay. Um, well, my ego could probably get a. Oh, that would r run away. Yeah. All right. This is the best card I've ever seen. Takes you to a dog fight on your first date. Nice. Hey, <laughs> that is the best one so far. <laughs> on your and I would not want to go to a dog fight. So <laughs> I would get to meet Michael Vick, which would be cool. Over to you. Okay. She's a famous rapper. Okay. Um, okay. So like, uh, yeah, Doja bars. Doja Cat. Loves you unconditionally. That's okay. Cute. I, um, I prefer love. conditions. Um. Masturbates in public. Oh, <laughs> God, these are so bad. <laughs> My card sounds the, uh, really cool. The ejaculating bees are sounding pretty good right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go with that one. Um, okay, so we got Hitler. Loves Hitler, right? <laughs> Loves, Loves you. No, just doesn't love him. Just thinks he had some good ideas. Like. <laughs> Um, I'm sure he had a great economic policy. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope that's what it is. Um, and then dicks all over. Yeah, you you guys are out. You too. <laughs> okay, um, man. We if really you could, if I could about, see that one. If coming. I could have merged you two, anyway, <laughs> um, you'd be double out. Not okay. And then you were lives off the grid, you're, you're, doesn't blame you, and takes you to a dog fight on your first date. That's where I want to spend my first date. And what was your last okay. one? Um, <laughs> masturbates in public. <sighs> Um, I love dogs and I hate that I have to choose this, but I'm going to go with the dog fight <laughs> because I can't just like, Hey, we're at the local park. What's Betty doing? <laughs> Flicking the bean. You know her. <laughs> you know how she loves to play with the little man in the boat. Gosh, she really likes to get off here. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this this week, has been great. This week we had, um, can't remember their names, but they're definitely here. <laughs> Uh, make sure to follow them on TikTok, Instagram. It'll all be uh, on the screen, I assume. On the screen, um, in the description. Anything you guys want to say before the people uh, stop listening? Nope. You got anything? I love you, Mom. Oh, <laughs> nice. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. This is Jammer Music. This is Jenna and Seth. Make sure to go check their socials out and everything. We'll have them linked below. And we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. If you stay till the end, um, watch the movie Whiplash and then tell me um, what you thought about it. Oh, oh I love that. It's my favorite movie. Thank you so much.